I set off this morning at around about 7 a.m. from East Yorkshire, and I've come all the way up to um, the west coast of Scotland, in the sort of middle part. I've driven just, I mean, basically just north of Glencoe, or at Glencoe, just to the west of Glencoe, I guess. And um, I'm doing a, f a few videos for. Uh, Filming locations revisited over on my flooded YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash flooded, F L U D D E D, and um, some outdoor stuff for this channel, which is my chilled out channel. Unfortunately, I was just going to go on the hoof. I thought I'd be able to camp a very famous monument which I visited earlier. I'm here at Glenfinnan, which is just the landing point where a body British Charlie landed here to lead the rebellion to try and get Scotland back so that he could become king. God defend Scotland! Body British Charlie came back, landed here, and was met by the Jacobites to start the rebellion. And they've put a monument here to mark that landing. And you've got Bonnie Prince Charlie on the top there. And he is uh, looking in land. Incidentally, he's looking towards a viaduct. Now you might recognize the viaduct because it's the same viaduct that was featured in Harry Potter. Good morning. It's very cold. Very cold indeed. Um, I've honestly dozed off around about 8 p.m. Oh, and I'll, I kept getting woken up by torrential rain. Torrential rain. And uh, really high winds. And I'll sit lying here just listening to it. Impressed by the sturdiness of the tent. And it's interesting that the gusts came and only lasted like a few seconds and then it died down to silence. So I think because I'm in a, like a bit of a mountain range, the wind is literally just spiraling around like lots of whirlpools or wind or something. I've just been out for my ablutions. Well, by the way, it's uh, it's... I thought it was 8 o'clock in the morning <laughs> because it's so bright I could see the whole outside I thought oh it's daylight outside but no it's just a very bright moon peeping through the clouds so yeah it's only about half past one in the morning unfortunately so I've got a long time to go but I popped out to the car uh, went off to the, the, the loo as well <laughs> you need to know those things and I uh, got the sleeping bag so I've got an extra layer to keep me warm plus I put this thing on hands are cold from being outside that's my toes down there <laughs> look how snug this fit is that's my toes down there and this is me up here so it's it's a super tight little tent uh, because this is all mesh here this is all mesh quite drafty at the head which stops condensation but it's quite chilly so I now have this layer I've got three layers on a duvet a sleeping bag another duvet on top of an inflatable and that's me snug as a bug well fingers are cold but that's just because I've been out so yeah so now I just need to uh, get a bit more kip 
and hopefully some more torrential rain because I absolutely love it when it rains. The tent is totally secure, I've checked all around. I think we're good to go. I do have gloves somewhere. The 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 boot of the car is just a mess now because I just basically ripped everything out. Tidy that up in the morning. And uh that's my update. <laughs> I probably should mention my my trusty light here, which I can switch from that to a dimmer version, which has got which is half off, to red light, which is really good. And I really like the red light. So that's SOS to off. Th this is a um, rechargeable. So I've got like a battery pack with me, and I've just charged it up to full, and this will last like hours. Probably five or six hours. I don't know. It's also got a torchlight on, on the bottom. It's cool. It's only like seven quid or something. Probably twenty-two. I don't know. Go outdoors is where I got that from. Which has surprisingly good deals if you get yourself a discount card. Anyway. Let's watch some YouTube. <laughs> hey, Dick. Dehydrated. But not tired. I had a good night's sleep. <laughs> I'm making myself laugh. I can't, I'm not that funny. Good morning, welcome to the Glen Nevis Caravan Camping Park. This is my little map. I arrived here last night, it was just too dark. I um, I couldn't video anything much, but I arrived and I, with the aid of a light on the top of my head, I managed to get a tent up and just the bare essentials in there. It wasn't really a panic because I was quite prepared to sleep in the car to be honest, but um, £13.70 to camp for a night and I had a really good night's sleep although it was it was uh, well something to remember <laughs> something I'll remember this is a great little camping spot they give you a map to tell you where to go they take it's big it's nestled in a in a glen I think and they give you a little ticket to put on your tent so they know that you've paid there's hardly anybody here. I think people are using this as a, a starting point for Ben Nevis, perhaps. This is Glen Nevis. And a Glen is kind of like, a, I think I've worked, uh, I must look it up. A Glen's like a valley between mountains as opposed to hills. Valleys have hills, Glens have mountains, and there are mountains all around. Smaller ones on that side, but big ones that side. I'm pretty sure I'm close to Ben Nevis and I don't even know it. I could look at my phone. You're right. Thanks. Here they've got a, a self-catering houses, caravan spots, tent spots. They've got a restaurant and bar. So clearly this is the key place to come for um, camping. It was quite squelchy. Um, putting the tent up last night so it had been raining quite heavy all through the day so it leaves me in a bit of a dilemma what to do today but uh, I shall think of something go and explore a little bit but although 
all all this some people might watch this video and think what why are you doing that that's crazy just go and lie in bed relax have a proper night's sleep but it's an adventure and um, it makes you think about things that you wouldn't normally think about in terms of it's not so much survival because you could go you could go 24 hour 24 hours without food and everything but you, you think about it saying okay I need I need um, I need food I need warmth I need uh, and that was my problem last night warmth keep my head warm so I don't want to get sick and I believe you get sick by having a cold head at night but uh, so it's little things like this morning I tried to make a cup of coffee and I couldn't I don't have a lighter I don't really want to get it to a stage where I'm living a lap of luxury <laughs> but I want to have the basics so I can you know keep going for a few days I've been terrible at camping for several days again the tent's soaking wet so I don't really know you know do I, do I put that up again tonight I might put the bigger tent up I've brought two tents maybe I'll put the bigger tent up tonight anyway I hope you liked that brief excursion to uh, Ben Nevis in Scotland um, I know I did. It was a very brief stopover and a little bit of an adventure. Uh, just a brief word on, I made a video, I made two videos. One was a walk to Paul McCartney's farm, another one was the making of the Paul McCartney Mull of Kintyre video. And both have had an amazing response and uh, I'm just grateful to everyone who's watched them and sent really nice messages to me. Um, uh, you know, I appreciate you and uh, it's my first experience of like a community building and um, although you guys don't know each other um, I'm I'm seeing regular names now and I appreciate it and uh, yeah it's, I watch videos of youtubers talking about stuff like this and I think they're just you know just saying it so they can get the subs but it is actually it does something to you when you get people leaving messages for you because they're for you you know it's based on what you've just done and what you've just said and who you are and you know they like you and it's um it's nice feedback and uh i i read every single one so thanks very much